Oh, let's get started on this thing. What we got here? Wild Game Innovations 6.5 gallon photocell feeder kit. Uh, here we are, camp go time again. Uh, we're going to put up a small feeder, fill it with corn, hang it. We'll show you how we're going to hang it. Um, let's take a look in the box, see what you get with this. This is available tractor supply now. Uh, Walmart around uh, hunting season. Uh, they're uh, in the $40 range right now, tractor supply. I think it's off almost pushing 50 It was like 48 Tell you the truth, wouldn't buy it for 48 uh, I'd wait and, and see if you could get some kind of better deal. So let's take it out. Uh, I've done a little bit of pre-work on this one. Let's get rid of the box. Uh, first thing I did, painted the lid. As you can see, a little water sits in here. So paint your lid because if you don't, it's going to rust. Uh, I have one out already and I, I painted the lid on that one. Definitely painted the lid. That's why you see it's normally black, painted at the brand. Also painted right in here and the seam right down through here. That will also rust. So you want to put a coat of paint on where your handle attaches. If this is silver normally, you want to paint that. Your seam, you want to paint that and down, down the bottom, you want to put a coat of paint on that because that will also rust. So, uh, and on the other side, I also hit where the where the bucket attached. So, it has the, uh, hit again, this is metal. It holds about 37, 36 pounds of corn. Uh, not 50, like it says, but whatever. Uh, have some things to hang it up in here. We're gonna hang it up by a rope. So has the, the spinner piece of it. Get out the instructions. Funnel. And uh, definitely recommend bungeeing the lid on. You definitely want to bungee the lid. And once you have it up there, because uh, I think actually the, the wind could actually knock that off of there. Or if a raccoon got up the top, it would definitely get in there. So you want to bungee that lid shut too. Uh, already, already, uh, this. This is pre-drilled. This comes like this. This is where your feed is going to come out. But I've already pre-drilled the bottom of it. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, put it together now, and uh, come back and we'll show you once it's together. If you really want to see a complete review, complete drill, I do have another video out there. It's available right here, as a matter of fact. You want to go take a look at that one. Complete, if you have 20 minutes to spend, complete review and assembly of this, but I'm trying to make this one a little bit shorter for you. So let's stop, we'll get it together and come back and see you in a few minutes. All right, so it's together. Uh, it didn't take very long. Uh, one thing I did when I put the, the, the actual spinner on, I use nuts and bolts here instead of uh, self-tapping screws that come with it. I actually just bought a, a, a couple, a small pack of nuts and, and bolts just so it would be more secure up here. They probably didn't need to do it, but did it anyway. Uh, here on the back, that is your photo cell. Uh, after two days of being on, it will spin one hour after sunrise, one hour before sunset to whatever time you have programmed uh, inside. We'll take a look a bit, uh, took a look at that when we start to hang it up. So uh, it is set together, ready. Uh, one thing, if you were wondering again about the painting, saying like, wow, you're wrecking that nice camo job on there. Uh, this is going to fade to a gr very bright greenish uh, over time. I have one at home, and maybe I'll try to pop a picture in right here. And you can see that it, it, it fades to a greenish color, so uh, don't worry about spray painting this. Uh, you're only protected it. You're going to stop it from rusting more than anything else. So uh, we're going to get it hung up in a tree, and uh, we're across two trees. We have uh, some hooks, some pulleys that we're going to use uh, so we can lower it up and down easily so when we want to fill it back up again, come on out of there, another uh, pulley. That is our six volt battery, and, and here's our our rope we're going to use. So we just have a, a little bit more to go. We'll hang it up in the tree, show you how we're going to do that, and uh, see you back in a couple of minutes again. 
All right, we got it up. Uh, we'll show you a little bit of that with the pulley system around the other side in a couple seconds. Put the uh, six volt lantern battery, it takes a six volt that goes in the control box, the panel, whatever you want to call it. So let me go ahead and put this baby in. Slide that right in. Negative, positive. All right, so it is set. Now we have our little test button in here to test to see how many seconds it'll spin for. No corn in there right now. We'll put that in, in a minute. That was about three seconds. Let's set it a little bit more. We'll get that set up, show you filling it with corn, and be back in a minute. Remember, this thing says holds 50 pounds. This is a 50 pound corn bag, tractor supply, normal, everyday, regular corn. So let's fill her up. Without spilling too much if I can. Yeah, it is. All right. Maybe I still pound, <laughs> maybe more. Still have at least five pounds in there. But I've used the 40 pound bag, and the 40 pound bag won't fill it up. So it is what it is, really. Okay. That string really stretched out. Back up again. And when you fill it and you push the lid, make sure you hold the bottom. You don't want to. You don't want to put any pressure on the spinner. So let's get that up in here a little bit. Stretch it out a good two feet. This is how we uh, used it. You don't have to use this pulley system. This is just something I came up with. Uh, a lot of guys take a hammer, attach it to a rope, throw it over a branch on a tree, do kind of do the same thing. But uh, I'm using this pulley method. And makes it pretty easy for getting it up there. So let's tie it off this. At this height, we'll put our bungees on test it and uh, hoist her up the rest of the way. Hopefully the raccoons and bears and everything else will leave it alone. Got it up. We'll do a test spin, make sure everything's okay with it and corn flows out all right. Uh, I'll hit it. I got to get it out of the frame because this will come out pretty good. I did take a shot of corn side of the face one time. Uh, and I was pretty far away. It didn't feel too good. So I'm probably going to uh, get this, move out of camera frame, start her up and Move out of the way. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that got some distance on it. It did. So, let's hoist her up and in the spring at camp go time, so this is not hunting season. Uh, we'll go ahead and supplement the deer. We have some clover food plot right over to the right of us, or is that to the left, depending on your point of view. And some corn, have some salt blocks. So uh, something to, to help improve your deer herd. So let's get her hoisted up. You know, I just realized it got all that distance being down here. <laughs> What's that? So from up there, it's going to be shooting even oh, further out. That's going to be crazy. Here. Oh yeah, they'll be digging. This will, this this thing will all be all dug up in a little while. Yeah, that's going to have some major uh, circumference on it. 
Yeah, you got a little bit of corn on the ground spilled when we're filling it up, but that's okay because that'll it, t it does take two two days to to read the sunset sunrise. So we'll have a little bit here for the in the meantime. Start them getting used to that there is corn in the area. And there is the setup. Again, you don't have to do it that way. But uh, let me just let me just get in there, frame. And as you can see, no way if I'm a bear, and this is bear area, big bear area, bigger than me bear area. You know, we uh, five, six hundred pounders, which is probably going to be taller than me. But uh, unless they climb the tree and reach over, at least they're not going to be able to disturb it. And if they do, really, what can you do? So this is uh, White Rook 85 signing out again from Camp Go Time.